Welcome, 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 Collective to Queen Soul for Real Tarot. Glad to have you guys join me once again. I um, just want to say um, this is a general message for the Collective. Um, please take what resonates and leave what does not. Remember that energy is fluid. It could be either masculine or feminine, so reverse the roles when necessary. With that being said, again, thanks for joining me, and we're going to hop right into the message, okay? Just going to cleanse the area. Thank you, Divine Spirit. Let's see what we have here today. Hmm. Welcome, welcome to all my cosmic gods and goddesses. To all my reflections. Send y'all love, light, and peace to each and every one of you. Hope y'all are doing well. Thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate you. Much gratitude. What do we have here, Spirit? Universal Divine Spirit. Please and thank you. I'm hearing that love is in the air for someone. Love is definitely in the air. We have purpose here. We have balance. What else is here, Spirit? For my beautiful collective, please and thank you. We have regret here. Any more? Please and thank you. We have abundance here. We have envy on the bottom. So collective, what I'm getting here, um, is that somebody, somebody uh, regret not going uh, through with something, okay? Because it was going to bring them um, some abundance in, um, some type of abundance, okay? Um, well, and they actually knew they were driven to do this. Or just something they, you know, something they knew they wanted to do, and um, it would have been perfect, okay. But they regret not going forward with this. Is what I'm getting here. What else is here, spirit? Somebody regrets not going forward with uh, a plan or something that they wanted to do. What is this, spirit? Please and thank you. What is the energy here, Spirit? Please and thank you. What is the message from my collective? Please and thank you. Hmm. Your hand is almost as perfect. This would have been perfect. You regret not following through on it. Collective. This is what I'm getting here. What is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. My gods and goddesses, my cosmic gods and goddesses, what is here, please and thank you. You regret following through with a plan or something that would have brought you a lot of abundance. Would have meant a lot to you. Whatever this is, what is this spirit, please and thank you. Okay. Hmm. We have Y in the reverse here. We have Between Worlds here. We have Flexible here. One more. Please and thank you, Spirit. What is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. What is here? What is it that you could have done differently? Okay, we have co-create here. So I'm getting here that somebody had an opportunity here. 
and they let this opportunity slip right out of their hands, okay? Because they they questioned it. Like you kind of second guess yourself, collective is what I'm getting here. Um, you were like, a part of you was saying yeah, and another part of you was saying no to whatever this was, but you're regretting it now because you weren't flexible with your decision here because this could have rung in your abundance here. Okay, wow. Something that would have rung in your abundance. You were you were um, double thinking it. You have anything else with this spirit, please? And thank you. You're feeling that you should have you should have followed through. You feel like you lost out on an opportunity here. What else is here, spirit? Please and thank you. This is something that you knew would have worked too. It would have worked out perfect. Okay. And you let it slip right through your fingers. Hmm. Something that you could have created. Possibly with somebody else. This could be a business. Or a business deal. Hmm. Or a partnership. Of some sort. But you, you kind of wanted to do it, and then again, you changed your mind. Okay, you were trying to find some balance in between um, your decision here is what I'm getting here. Okay. And now you thinking like, you know, why didn't you do it? Okay. Because it cost you your abundance here. We co-create being here. Yeah. What else is here, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, we have milk and honey. Yes, this is definitely about your abundance here. Collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Um, you may have missed out on a, a, a opportunity of some sort. Um, that really been a would have been a sweet deal. Is what I'm getting here. That's what I'm hearing here. Thank you, Spirit. This would have been a sweet deal for you. And you were going back and forth with it, you know, debating with yourself whether or not you wanted to go follow through. Okay. You regret not being flexible with your with your ideals, with your thoughts. Okay. And this made you lose out on what you were talking about. Yeah, you were caught in the fork in the road. You couldn't make a decision. Okay. You couldn't make a decision. You didn't know really which way to go with this. It's what I'm getting here. Wow. The number 51 could be significant. Hmm. The number 19 could be significant. The number um, 40 could be, could be um, significant. Wow. You could live on a deer road or something. Or live by where deers cross the road a lot or something. Wow. Possibly a hillside maybe. Hmm. A lot of forestry is around you. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. I'm hearing this would have set the table just right for you. Is what I'm hearing here. Thank you, Spirit. What else is here? For my beautiful collective. The number 13 could be significant. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Your yeah, leg up. This would have gave you a leg up. If you were in a hole or something like that. Yeah. This, um. Wow. Really kind of pushed you back a little bit, collective, is what I'm getting. Okay. Because you're in regret because you didn't take that step forward on this. You, you weren't flexible with your, you know, your position on how you wanted to go about this. Okay. And it could have cost you your abundance here. Hmm. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Number 34 could be significant. Yeah, you were trying to figure out which direction to go into. And um, the higher power is here. You, you should have followed your instinct here is what I'm, what I'm saying. Because the universe was wanting to gift you with something here. Okay. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. 
I'm hearing you had help. You had help. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Yeah, this was a blessing from the divine universe for you. Okay, but you couldn't make up your mind. Even though this is something you, you probably uh, prayed about it, but you you didn't follow through. Going the distance is in reverse here. Wow. I'm getting that this is something that set you back. A failed plan, a failed decision that you, you failed to make. Um, the proper decision on something here. Wow. You were headed in that direction and you just changed your mind. For some reason. You were headed straight towards your blessing. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. One more, please. Yeah. We have here and now. In the reverse here. Yeah. You missed out on a blessing. Because you were afraid to take that leap of faith here. Is what I'm getting here. Even though this is something that would have brought you a lot of abundance here. You don't know why um, you didn't take this. That you were stuck in... Um, in this decision making um, process um, and you're in a little regret here right now yeah all that glitters is on the bottom of the deck here hmm yeah you had a deep knowing that this would go that this would go through and we have chop wood round and round so yeah you definitely definitely um, you slept on this opportunity okay is what I'm getting here you put a little bit you know you, you thought too much about this, okay? And you thought yourself out of something good here, okay? That would have brought you peace here is what I'm getting here, okay? Well, now you feel like you have to clean up a, some sort of mess or something here, okay? Because um, I'm getting that you knew you knew better. You knew better and you kind of beat yourself up about it, okay? Wow. Maybe you let somebody trick you out of a... This opportunity here is what I'm getting here. Somebody tricked you out of your abundance here. Okay. Wow. They talked you out of it is what I'm getting here. Deep knowing is here. Wow. Yeah, they talked you out of it. They want to see you work harder. This karmic here wanted to see you work harder. They didn't want to see you get it so easy. So they try to confuse you. When it came time to, to make that decision, okay? Hoping that you would sleep on it, okay? Yeah, because they didn't want to see you have any peace here, okay? Yeah, they confused your mind. So, you wouldn't have your treasure island. You wouldn't have your abundance here, is what I'm getting here. Hmm. So, now there's an unfinished symphony here, okay? Because instead of no place at home, I'm getting that there's no peace at home. Since this decision was made here and it, and it cost you. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Wow. What is going on here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Somebody talked you out of your blessing. That's what I'm getting here. Some karmic energy talked you out of your blessing. You took some bad advice. But this is from a jealous person. Okay. This person didn't want to see you have any peace. They didn't want to see you have any peace. They didn't want to see you have anything. Yeah. They didn't want to see you go, you know, take it that far. They didn't want to see you get ahead of them is what I'm getting here. Thank you, Spirit. They didn't want to see you get ahead of them. So, yeah, this is somebody that's, that's, that's really uh, envious of you. And they know that you have all of these uh, capabilities and opportunities here. And they wanted to stop you, okay? So they got in your head. They probably told you a bunch of lies. Okay, I made you second guess yourself is what I'm getting here. Okay, and this cost you your abundance, okay? Hmm. What else is here, Spirit? What else is karmic energy up to? What else is here, Spirit? It's always about a setup, right? 
they set this up just to stop you from from getting uh your blessing something they know you had coming your abundance here okay it was meant for you and they blindsided you they got in your head had you second guess yourself you missed out on it yeah and when they when they achieved this collective divine film divine masculine they was done once they set it up they was done they knew they had you when they had you second guessing yourself they knew they that they were gonna make you miss out on this abundance because they were they were extremely jealous of you extremely jealous of you getting ahead of them okay if this is in business they were they were extremely jealous of of your business out doing their business if this is your home life they were uh, not wanting you to have a better home life than them okay uh, be it relationship too as well they didn't want your relationship to um, be better than theirs this is somebody that's really envious of you is what I'm getting here they talk a lot too is what I'm getting here as well and they knew that they can get you to believe in them and trust them and whatever advice they gave you was bad advice okay and they only did that because they didn't want to see you um, get this abundance this blessing that um, the universe the divine universe had for you okay yeah they knew that they were going to make a difference, okay, if they did this to you and, and caused this setback. They were all talking about it, okay. I'm getting it was more than one here. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, I hope it's not it's not nothing um, like a business deal you made and it went bad because, yeah, you will probably be needing a lawyer to get out of this, okay. Yeah, because they really tricked you out of some money here. They tricked you out of a big blessing here. They got you to change your mind here. This karmic energy did. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. What's going on with this energy here? Wow. Yeah. This blessing was specifically for you. And this person knew if they could get in your head. Out of jealousy and envious that they would make you lose it. The number 10 could be significant. Okay, 43, the number 9. Okay, yeah. They plan for you to um, not get this abundance that you know, the divine universe have for you, okay? They don't want to see you um, have success um, above theirs is what I'm, what I'm getting here. Okay, they want it to be over for you is what I'm getting here. Wow. You know, people really need to just like, you know... Stop worrying about somebody else's, uh, you know, accomplishments is what I'm getting here, you know, and, and minding their business, okay, and staring out of yours. This is nothing but jealous energy here. They didn't want to see you have something that you earned or that the divine universe was gifting to you. <clears throat> they don't want to be see you be successful at all. Yeah. Wow, they lied to you. They lied to you and they deceived you. Just to keep you from getting your abundance, okay? Wow. I don't think you saw this coming. But they kept confusing you. They kept on, you know, having you go back and forth with your thoughts. Should I do this? Should I not? Should I do this? Should I not? Okay? I'm getting something about some documents here. You may have signed some documents. Okay, but signing the documents, there was some fine print there, okay? Now you're, like, trying to make it all make sense here, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, because you know something went wrong here, okay? This could have landed you in a lot of trouble. Remember, this is past, present, or future energy, okay? Hopefully we can stop this before it happens. Okay? I'm getting a feeling that it hasn't happened yet. Maybe you could stop it. But there's somebody that's out to try to stop you from getting your abundance here. They're going to try to get you to sign some documents here. These documents have some fine prints, okay? It may have something to do with your home, okay? They may be wanting you to lose your home. So if you sign any papers concerning your home, be very careful because, you know, this could be like a um, Ponzi scheme type thing here is what I'm getting here. And these documents will cause you to lose all, everything you own, especially your home. They don't want to see you with this home. That's what I'm getting here. 
What else is here, Spirit? Yeah, jealous and envy. This is something that was meant for you to have. And this karmic energy didn't want to see you have it. They don't want to see you do better than them. Now, what is here, Spirit? What else is here? What is this karmic energy up to? Yeah. You may have children or may not have children. Okay. But whoever this person is, this masculine energy here, they're the ones that's trying to set you up so you won't get this abundance here. Okay. They're pretending to be your friend. They talk to you a lot about your personal business, your personal um, assets and things like that. And um, they only want to see you lose. They've drawn up some fake documents for you to sign. But those documents, yeah, they have a hidden agenda. Those documents are for you to lose everything. So be careful, okay, with signing any documents right now. It's also some karmic energy here that doesn't want to see somebody get a new home, okay? They don't want to see you get this new home. So they're trying to talk you out of uh, going through with this uh, deal with the new home. I'm hearing it's a real estate agent here. That's uh, every time you talk about a house, they're uh, they're going, they're they're directing you to another home instead of the home that you want. Yeah, that real estate agent is facing jail time, but they they haven't told you that, okay? Because they've tricked a lot of people like that. Hmm. Yeah, that that real estate agent. If you're dealing with a real estate agent. Do a background check on them. I'm getting this masculine energy. Could be feminine. Take how it resonates. Yeah, but this person is trying to um, trick you to get you to get another home. That's way, way. Um, he's he's adjusting. He's adjusting the price, and it's not fair to you. Okay, he's not telling you, but he's done this to a lot of people. Okay, and he's facing jail time, but he hasn't told you that though. He has an ongoing court case right now. This real estate agent, okay? Well, this other person is having you sign some documents. They're running a Ponzi scheme, okay? For some of you, yeah, they're running a Ponzi scheme. If you're investing some money in something right now, read all the fine print before you sign anything, is what I'm getting here. Well, what else is here, Spirit? Yeah. Really think about it, okay? Think about it. Think things through. Carefully, don't let anybody get in your head. You think things through. Use your judgment. Use your discernment, okay? Because somebody's going to sign some paper that's going to end them up in trouble, okay? Because there's some fine print at the bottom of the paper. It has a clause at the bottom of the paper. And if you sign that paper, you're going to end up... Uh, possibly doing some jail time and you, you don't even um, know that you're doing anything wrong okay what else is here spirit please and thank you yeah but there's somebody very jealous and very en envious I'm here that wants you to lose they see that you have everything you may have come uh, come into some inheritance right now or something like that and you have this money to spend and this person is very jealous this person wants to see you lose it all. They want to see you lose it all. Well, yeah. And when they do it, you know, well, this could be a brother or somebody's brother that I'm talking to here. Yeah, but that real estate agent is going to be um, facing a conviction. Okay, that's why he has some jail time coming. Because he's been cheating a lot of people, this real estate agent. I'm getting this masculine energy. Could be fem feminine, but I'm getting masculine energy. Also, if you're if you made an investment, it's a Ponzi scheme. Be careful. It's a Ponzi scheme, okay? It has some fine print. It's gonna cause you to lose everything if you sign those documents. Please go through your documents very carefully. Don't let anybody rush you through anything, sidetrack you or anything. 
look at those papers very, very carefully, very thoroughly. If, if it takes you a day or two, tell them that you'll get back with them. But examine those documents carefully because somebody's out to trick somebody here. And it's going to cost them their home, possibly. It's going to cost them a, a, a nice size investment they made. What else is here, Spirit? Hmm. Yeah, Spirit saying, be careful. Yeah, being watched. Somebody's watching you to make sure that you don't. They may be standing over your shoulder. Tonight, I didn't give you any room to even look at the documents. They're going to act like they're in a hurry. Um, that they have to go, that they have another appointment or something like that, you know, to try to get you sidetracked, to try to, you know, cloud your judgment, um, to try to make make you make a hasty decision is what I'm getting here. But that's just a just part of the scheme. What else is here? What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Yeah. Yeah. These people are guilty of doing this, okay? And they're coming after you, Divine Film, Divine Masculine. Yeah. Watch out for these documents and the, and this real estate agent and these investors. Investors, okay? They're all out to save themselves some money here, okay? Take yours and save theirs, okay? They're going to make money off your money and you're not going to have anything. Is what I'm getting here. Anything else here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Yeah, Ponzi schemes, fake real estate agents that 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 has a uh, is facing jail time here. Well, some false documents. Okay, possibly cause somebody to lose their home or make a bad investment. Yeah, these people are are, are scamming here. They're trying to clean house. Okay, once they do this to you, they're gonna they're gonna clear up all the paperwork, act like you never existed, act like they never worked with you, act like you were never a client of theirs. Yeah. This is what they're up to. They're gonna make everything disappear. And only thing that's gonna be left is that one paper, that one document that can get you in trouble. You're not gonna you know what happened. Well, you're not gonna know what happened. They're wanting you to lose everything here. Your home and everything. Yeah. They're going to get caught eventually and get locked up, though. I don't care how much clean up they do. When you do somebody wrong, you have to pay the price. Spirit is saying, don't trust this person because this person is definitely coming towards you. It's a real estate agent. Somebody wants you to sign some documents, something about an investment, a large investment that you made. An inheritance somebody doesn't want you to have. Pay attention to the signs. Take your time and think this thing through before you sign anything, okay? Spirit said, don't trust this person, okay? They try to clean up behind themselves. Wow. These are some real good schemers, too. I'm hearing it's like a ring. A ring. I'm saying it's a ring. They're going around doing this to people. So be careful, collective, okay? Yeah, what is this here? Yeah, I'm sorry. That's something they're going to have to say to you. Even if you try to take these people to court, this is the only thing the court's going to be able to tell you is that I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Even there's nothing we can do. Wow. Especially with this investment. This large investment. Classic for some inheritance that you you accumulated. Okay. A blessing that you received from the divine universe. Okay. This is something you were blessed with. Blessed to have. And somebody doesn't want to see you to ha have it. Okay. Wow. They're trying to get you to change your mind. <clears throat> trying to get you to sign some papers really fast. But these are fake documents I'm getting here. This is a Ponzi scheme all day long. This is a, 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 a real estate agent, a crooked real estate agent here that I'm, that I'm picking up on. Very crooked real estate agent here. Yeah. They're focused on you, Collective. They're focused on you, on doing this to you. 
Okay. Wow. The only thing they're telling you is a bunch of lies. A bunch of lies. Wow. <laughs> These people come knocking at your door. Lock your door. Don't even open your door for them. Okay, this will save you a lot of trouble, okay? Because you won't even be able to file a lawsuit against these people because they're going to have your signature on some, some, some documents that they're not even going to be able to trace. It's just going to end up in your lap. Like, you're the reason this happened to you. You're not even going to be able to file a lawsuit against these people. Wow. And when you tell somebody that's what happened, nobody's going to believe you, especially the courts or anybody like that. When you figure out what these people are up to, these Ponzi schemers, these these uh, this this fake real estate agent who, who's who's trying to keep redirecting you to different houses other than the house you want, yeah, nobody's gonna believe you. And you're gonna be left saying, "Why me?" Okay, wow. Well, they're definitely watching you. They're definitely watching you, collective. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. These people are, are okay with what they do. And right now they are until they get caught. Stealing people's inheritance. Stealing people's money. Tricking people with these false investments and everything like that. Using these Ponzi schemes, you know, against people. Taking advantage of people. I'm getting even elderly people here. Definitely elderly people. They're taking advantage of anyone they can. It doesn't matter to them, okay? Spirit just doesn't want to see you in regret here. So this would be a warning um, for some of you, okay? It's a warning, okay? This is past, present, and future energy. Like I said, maybe um, we can stop this before it happens, okay? I pray so. What else is here, Spirit? What does my collective need to know? Yeah, this is gonna bother you if you let this happen to you. If you're not careful, okay, you gotta need some therapy because this is enough to drive anybody insane. What these people are doing to people out here, it's not nice. It's not a good thing. It's nothing but thievery, you know, at its best. Okay, these people are really good at what they do. Like I'm, I'm hearing it's a ring of them, and they go around. Um, it's different sects of them, you know, like sections, like different sets, but they all belong to the same ring. And each one of them have a different qualification of something that they specialize in and they go around and they do this and this is how they get their money. Yeah. Get rich schemes is what they use, okay, to get other people's money. They have to get your money collective is what I'm getting here. Wow. This is really sad. Things that people do. What they call this white collar crime here? Yeah. This would be considered white collar crimes. Because they're only going after, um, you know, people that have uh, nice size amounts of money here. They'll take anybody's money, believe me, but they rather go with the uh, people that have nice sizes of money is what I'm getting here. Especially with these investments, okay? And with these homes, these homes are already sold and they're trying to resell them to you. That's why they keep re redirecting you to another house because the house is already sold. But it's, look, they got fake signs out saying that it's for sale. It's not for sale. Wow. Why did you do it? This is what everybody's going to be asking. Why did you do it? Why did you fall for that? Okay. It was your inheritance. Your money. Your abundance. They're going to be saying, why, why, why did you do it? You didn't read the fine print. You didn't, you didn't pick up any vibes off that person that they may be, you know, being dishonest with you in any type of way here. Um, collective right. Yeah. This real estate man could even be working with a... Um, another woman or it could be another woman um that's hating on you don't that don't want you to have your abundance here she doesn't want your wishes to come true okay wow hmm anything else here spirit before i close this out yeah spirit is saying get your affairs in order get your affairs in order 
Checks and balances, checks and balances, checks and balances is what I'm hearing here. Get your affairs in order. Get your affairs in order. Okay, so I'm hearing. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, these people are making you a lot of broken promises here. They don't plan to help you. They plan to hurt you. That's what Spirit is saying. Anything else here, Spirit? Hmm. Jones, Johnson, Jeffries, Caroline, I'm getting Elizabeth, um, Myrtle, hmm, well, this may be even an old friend that you're trusting there from the past here, is what I'm getting here, okay, and it could also be another man. Um, working along with them. I told you it's a ring of them, okay? Something about the car. Pay attention to the car that they drive. Pay very close attention to the car that they drive. It could be a rental. Okay, it may come up in a fancy car, but it's not their car. It's, it's more likely a rental. Or someone that, something that they borrowed from someone. It's a theft ring going on, okay? Yeah. Johnston, Fredericks. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. They're stalking people out. Victims here is what I'm getting here. They're bad news. These people are bad news. Wow. Dietrich Wright. Schultz, hmm, Shul or something like that. Um, could be a last name. Yeah. Watch your accounts too. Spirit just want you to watch your accounts too. Wow. Tiffany. This is what I'm getting here. Williamson. Nelson. Hmm. What else is here, Spirit? It's going to be something strange. They're going to, it's going to be something strange about the open house. Okay, it's going to be some strange, something that's strange that's hanging up. And it's going to look like, almost like it was, it's out of place when you go there to look at this house with this real estate agent. Something's going to look out of place. It's, just, it's almost like they, they tried to, to, to decorate or something like that. Something's going to really look out of place. You're going to notice it when you first walk in. That's one of the telltale signs, okay? That these people are out to steal your money. Steal your inheritance here. Yeah. They want to keep it a secret from you collective. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, they want to keep it a secret. I'm hearing uh, Thomas, Thomas, Thompson, Bell, hmm, Edwards, Gaddison, Gadsden, Gilson, Gilsey, hmm. Yeah, they prey on people. They prey on people. They look you up. They have, like it's a ring of them, they have somebody that works in a financial institution that has all of your account information. And um, they know a lot more about you than, than you think they know, okay? It's a ring of them. And they're going around stealing. And they want to steal from you collective. And this is just a warning from the divine universe, okay? But whatever they try to tell you is just a fantasy. It's an illusion. It's not real. They're selling you a fantasy. Okay? So beware. Okay? Wow. Yeah, they're bad news. Spirit said they're bad news. Okay? Wow. They're hoping they can get you trapped up in this, but look at those documents, okay? These people may seem nice, but they're, they're not nice. They're not nice people. 
Spirit said they're bad news. Okay. With that, I'm going to end this message, okay? And I'll get back with you. Peace, love, and light. Watch out for those documents before you sign anything. And be aware of these Ponzi schemes and these fake real estate agents, okay? Because these properties are already sold, okay? And um, get your affairs in order is what Spirit is saying. Get your affairs in order here, okay? Somebody's out to take what the divine universe has for you, your abundance here. Okay, somebody may be in trouble of losing their home if they sign the wrong paperwork here. Okay, with that, I'm going to end the message and I'll be back again with another message soon. Namaste for now.